Thanks, then. Um, there's a bit of a theory going on at the moment. Um, international research shows that the more that a school focuses on sport, the better the kids do academically. Sport New Zealand are using eight schools here to test the theory, and we sent Brodie Kane down to Dunedin to investigate. At school, there's the jocks, you know, the sporty types, rough and ready and nimble, but thick as two planks in the classroom. Then there's the nerds, all brainy, proud and proper, but an embarrassment on the sports field. But what if I told you that the better you are at sport, then the smarter you should be in the classroom? Students in sport um, fall over, they miss the goal, they get up and they go on again. And we want them, that's really important in the classroom, where they strike failure. Failure's a big thing that you have to deal with in sport. If you can deal with it in sport, we're thinking actually we want to see that you can deal with it in the classroom. This is Gary Carnahan, one of the architects yeah, of the Sport yeah. and Education Project. Um, well, certainly sport uh, was one of the things that kept me at school. And by keeping me at school, engaging kids the first step is getting them through the gate. And if it can keep kids at school, then other things will happen once they are engaged. So one's over there and two's over there. So let's go. He's at two participating Dunedin schools and is stoked at how the kids are getting on. Nice. Because since I'm a very sporty person and I, math and science aren't my favourite subject, but when they bring sports and stuff involved into it, I enjoy it more because I get to bring out my sporty side and I'm quite a competitive person. The project was trialled first in the UK with stunning results. Specialist sports schools like this one recorded the fastest rates of academic improvement in the country from 2006 to 2009. And there are five keys to the program's success. Well, I've got three questions for you. These guys weren't fussed about maths until they started using the four minute mile to help keep them interested. This is something Casey has thrived on. I get to share my own knowledge with others like these guys, which is always good. And it's been great watching them develop from when they were just starting off. These Queen's High School students are teaching aerobics lessons at nearby Tahuna Intermediate. OK, so strong arms and turn your feet out and snap them back together. For Kaikurai Valley, that meant incorporating the Olympic values into their own tournament. There's a seven. Well, you meet people that you usually don't talk to in the classroom. So, yeah, and then you learn how to work with other people. Queen's High is working with the regional futsal organisation for advice and tips. So are your grades getting better? They are. Are they? Getting, they actually are getting better. That's good. I know. Well, it motivates us to aspire to something so that when we're working, we're actually working on something that we're going to do later. So yeah, it's really cool like that. And the big people? The number of referrals have, have really gone down substantially. And, um, it's really exciting to see some of the spin-offs that are occurring. In fact, Kaikurai Valley Year 9s have had not a single after-school detention this year, compared to heaps last year. And the standard of work has really, really gone up, whereas um, before we had this approach, sometimes students would lose interest and we'd struggle a wee bit to capture their attention, but they're really engaged in everything that we're doing and we're really pleased. <laughs> So this is interesting. So Sport New Zealand are basically trialling this in New Zealand at eight of these schools, um, saying that sport can teach you leadership and teamwork and commitment and all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It is the first of a three-year study to see how it can work out in our schools and with our experiences. Um, if somebody had have said to you, play more sport and your, um, your grades will go up, because academically there's a follow-on, and this has been proven in, in Australia and in the UK as well. What would you have said? They said play less sport, Ellie, at school to me. <laughs> they, said, they said, no, you can't be in the tennis team. 